welcome to another episode of Outdoor Boys, and we are getting ready for a massive road trip. We're going to spend the next 10 days driving from Northern Virginia down to Jackson, Mississippi, and stopping along the way and having some serious fun. We're going to be fishing for giant stripers, blue catfish. Uh, we're going to be just having a great old time. So this is going to be Jacob's first road trip, and he's excited. We're gonna have a good time. And uh, I'm packing up my camera equipment here. I've got uh, three GoPros, two DL DLSRs, bunch of accessories, gotta get my fishing gear ready, downloading a ton of stuff for the kids uh, on their Kindles to keep them entertained. And it's gonna be a great practice for when we go traveling the world here in a couple months. We're gonna be going to Japan, Utah, Alaska, British Columbia, and a few other places. So we better get used to traveling because it's happening this summer. All right guys, so we've got to get a family of five and all of our luggage for a 10 day trip in this car. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna to have to use all of my dad skills. Guys, you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Jacob, you doing okay? Yeah. Who's ready to go on a trip to Tennessee? Yeah! Woo! Welcome to Tennessee! I feel so welcome. Wow, we're like half a mile into this state and there's already a Bass Pro Shop. That's impressive. That's a good state right there. Well, we're doing pretty good. We're about five and a half hours into the trip. But this little guy needs a diaper change, don't you, Jacob? We're getting close, guys. Ooh, look, there's a knife store and a boot store. We can get Tommy cowboy boots. Rainbow. That rainbow's over by Dick's Sporting Goods. There must be a fishing gear sale. Hey look, it's Dolly Parton Stampede, best dinner theater in the country. Listen guys, there are no bears in this area, okay? We're not going to get attacked by bears. Bears are real. Bears are real. <laughs> They're just something parents tell us to get. No, bears are real. We've seen bears. <laughs> We've seen bears before. There are no bears at this location. Yeah, see that horse? And the baby horse? Bears would have eaten that. All right, guys, we're here. The no bears. It's safe. Should we go play in the swimming pool? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Just what? Turn the light on. Look at this place, Tommy. This is awesome. Yeah, look. Look. Hey, show them the picture right there. Hey, guys, look over there. Hey, look, there's dancing bears. Well, let's see what's in here. Oh, look at this bedroom. That looks very nice. Oh, there's a teddy bear. There's bears everywhere here. <laughs> this place is infested with bears. It's a nice view from the porch. Oh, there's a rainbow from the porch. That is uh, quite the view. Hey guys, that's a long, that's a long floor. I just oh, want to go that. That's pretty cool. Well, you guys want to go see upstairs? See what upstairs? Uh oh, hey Tommy, look at this. What? Look at this, you're gonna love this. There's a video game and a pool table. Look at this, it's your bedrooms. That's my bed. Look at this, how cool are these bedrooms? Yeah, look at this. Yeah, here's another room. To the railing or something. Oh, look at this, guys. Do you know what this is? Look at this. It's a movie theater room. It's your own personal movie theater. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Is this cool? Uh, look out here. We got the jacuzzi tub. 
I am so proud of my boys. Eight hours in the car and they were awesome. You guys did a great job. Well, you're gonna get to go swimming with Mama while Dad goes to the grocery store to get food. How's that for cute there? That's a boy who's ready to go into a pool for the first time ever. You guys ready to go swimming? Yeah. Let's go swimming. In you go, buddy. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, while the rest of the family's hitting the pool, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, pick up some supplies so we have snacks tomorrow, breakfast and all that stuff. Okay. Well, it's raining. It's raining good. Well, we didn't know this, but apparently Pigeon Forge is a bit of a tourist town. There's lots of little carnivals and there's Dollywood and tons of fun things to do with the kids. We really wish we had to spent more time there. Hello, Becca. Hello. <laughs> oh, look at that tired little boy. Look at you. Look at Go Go Nathan. I think it's time to go to bed, guys. It's almost 10. Well, it's 4.30 in the morning and we've got to get up super early to go meet Scott Manning to go fishing for giant stripers and blue catfish. Are you tired, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I'm <laughs> tired. I go to blow. <laughs> well, shall we, you can sleep a little bit in the car, okay? It's about an hour and a half drive. Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Daddy, if a bear tries to get you, I'll attack you. If a bear tries to get you, I'm going to attack it so hard. Right here. Ready to go fishing for big striped bass? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Right, I got to admit, I don't even know what body of water this is. In the boat, bud. You ready? Woo! Hop on in there, buddy. Nice setup. And I didn't, I didn't feel good yet. I don't feel real great this morning, but I feel better than I thought it would be. Oh, well, thank you very much, man. I, I know what I know how that goes. You promise somebody you're gonna take them, and you just feel like crap. You're like, oh. Well, all right, look at that. Another beauty. Look here, here, you got it? Hey. I might keep one of these and cook them up, man. Why don't you get on? Oh, there you go. Hey, Tommy, you want to reel them in? Come here, come here. This is a good one. This is nothing to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that, bud. Boom. Boom. He's got a little blood on him. So you got to be gentle with them unless we're going to eat them. All right, throw them in the lab. All right, let's put, see, check out this big live well they got, Tom. Look at how big that is. Oh, this is fun, man. This is just every cast. Oh, oh yeah, not. It looks like a striper. Is that a striper? That's a striper. Striper in a boat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Daddy, can we eat him up? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna cook this guy up. Come with me. Let's go and put him in the live well. Okay, we're kind of like a culinary Noah's Ark here. What do you think of this, Tommy? Is this worth getting up at 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> you better hurry up, I got another one on. Here you go, oh, you got good, good job, you let that yeah, one You let that one go here. for dad. <laughs> Pull it in. Right here, Tommy. It's gotta be like number 12, and we haven't been doing this for, I don't think we've been doing this for 30, 40 minutes. Tommy, are you tired? Yeah. Tired. Yeah, catching all those fish was a lot of work, wasn't it? Yeah. You caught what? Maybe like 20 or 30 of them, I think. Or maybe 100. Do you have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> high five, buddy. Good job, man. And high five for you, too. High five for me? Awesome. Thank you. There you go. Cutting up some fresh uh, skipjack herring there. Don't be saying that. 
Sorry. Sorry, Tommy. Let's see, he hadn't popped up yet. That's a good sign. Oh. But he's just feisty. Yeah. Woo. Awesome. Ah. You know, this, this spot just keeps trickling them in. Right. We're getting the bite down. Oh, didn't oh. shoot. Getting that one right there. That was a good one. I got, I got this one. Real down on it, brother. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Another Demon Dragon Chris Flory. Oh, yeah, we can call. Oh, yeah. Good. Oops. I think we'll be fine with what we got. Guys, that was the most amazing fishing action. We caught more white bass than we could count. It just had a ball. And uh, we've got a couple in the live well, so we're going to take them upstream, build a campfire, fillet them up, and cook them. Oh, that wind feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. I hate the mm. Well, guys, we found ourselves a lovely little spot here on the river. We've got a little fire going. Hopefully, we'll have some coal soon. I need to start gutting some fish. So I just telling these guys I've never filleted a crappie before, and they go, "Oh, we can help you with that." Yeah. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. All right, I got the striper, white bass, white crappie. In there. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put some fish here in this little pita. Squeeze a little lime on this. Put some cilantro in there, peppers, tomatoes, some onions, maybe cram some greens in there too if there's some room. Little tajiki sauce. We're gonna try this out. Mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for uh, pretty ghetto cooking skills here. <laughs> you want some more? Yeah, I like it. You like it? And special shout out to Captain Scott Manning and Tennessee River Monsters for putting us on some awesome fish. There's gonna be a link in the description to their website. If you guys wanna have a trip like this, just call them, they'll hook you guys up. Be glad you came. I'm glad you came too, buddy. Fun little fact, I met Scott for the first time at the first annual catfish conference and he is the one who actually gave me this hat. We, and it was white and brown when yeah. I got it. Yeah, so, <laughs> Hey, look what it just hooked me up with, man. Thank you Good very one. much. Thank you, brother. Did you have fun? Yeah. I had a great time, man. Woo. I think I might need some sunscreen, though. I'm feeling roasted. Well, let's go home and see Mom and Nathan and Jacob, and let's go play in the pool, bud. Well, you know you had a good time when only half of you come back wearing pants. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's go inside. Well, me and Tommy got back from fishing like 15 minutes ago, and lucky we did, because as soon as we got here, it just started pouring buckets. Look at this. You got thunder and lightning and just gorgeous and cozy. What do you guys think? Is this cool, just sitting on the back porch? We've been so lucky with the weather. It was pouring buckets last night. buckets right now. I think the only good weather we had was the few hours we were fishing. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. The weather's perfect. It just takes the edge right off the heat. Aboard! Aboard! The wind changed. We're all getting wet now. Oh, I just, oh, I just stubbed my toe. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Take some of this, big pile of that. All right, there we go. So there you go, guys. There is a beautiful striped bass po'boy slider with a little coleslaw, some macaroni salad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I love getting these little cabins or a condo or something where you can buy your own food and make your own food. You don't have to eat out all the time. But it does force you into some weird dietary choices. So I bought an entire key lime pie because it looked amazing. It is amazing. But we're checking out in 
slightly over 24 hours and so if we don't eat at all it's just going to go to waste so we're eating like half a key lime pie today you tired tommy oh i'm exhausted it's 4 30 in the morning and we're up again and uh, we're gonna go fishing i'll sleep when i'm dead well, it's 6.30 in the morning and we are getting ready to go on another great day of fishing. Now Scott is horribly under the weather. He pulled himself off his sick bed to take us yesterday. But, so he's, uh, he's taking a little break and a friend of his is taking us out today. How are we doing today? Doing well, doing well. What's your name, big guy? Tommy. Oh, you went under. Yeah. Oh, careful, bud. Careful what you grab on. Now you jump go. onto it. Yesterday, when Scott told me he wouldn't be taking me, he said, Don't worry, I got Vin Diesel to do it for, for me. Ah. Yeah, so there we go, there we go, man. We, we, got, we, got triple, we got triple X uh, fishing here. You know you almost had me go in there for a while. Oh, yeah, that's a decent that's one. A, that's a definitely a better fish. Well, give it to Tommy. Here, Tommy. I can't, Don't lose I can't our rod do water. it. I'm gonna hold the rock, this is a better fish. Real yeah, Tommy. Tommy. There you that's go. That's the biggest fish that I can. Nice. The there you go, Tommy. Don't, uh, let, don't let Ace knock this one off like he did the last one. Yeah, no yeah kidding. totally. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, there's a nice one. Nice bluefish. There you go, oh, bud. Look how fat he is. That's a yeah, fat one. a chunky one. Let's hope they keep growing in size like that. Yeah, Tommy, you're doing well, bud. Nice. Okay, you want to hold this one too, bud? I like a one to two. All right, Tom. Yeah, look at that. You just having fun, bud? I gotta tell you guys, I would hire these guys just for this seat. <laughs> just for this seat. This is, oh, this is my bottom's new best friend right here. Just, oh. Come around. Tom, Tom, you got a fish right there, bud? I'll hold your sandwich. There we go. Oh. A great time uh, this is just a, a great charter very family friendly here great boat to be on so if you guys want to check out more information about these guys check out deuces wild fishing charter they've got a youtube channel facebook instagram i'll put links in the description that's great to see you thank Where? you very much you going hey uh, yeah see you thank you man it's yeah, a pleasure no meeting you yeah look at that, that yeah i can see a carp right there oh, see a I carp right see, there can... hey that looks a little different he might be a buffalo might be a buffalo, not a carp. Look at this, bud. I, a couple root beer floats sounds really good. Oh, root beer float sounds awesome. Would you like to ring the bell? Uh, there you go. There you go. We want a couple of root beer floats. That sounds awesome. Okay. Have you ever had a root beer float before, bud? Yeah, I thought this might be your first. We got 15 miles to go. <laughs> Only 15 more miles, huh? All right, buddy, you ready to go inside? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Guys, I know I had some grandiose plans about doing various things tonight, but I'm really exhausted. And so I'm just gonna chill with my little boys here and do relaxing things for a while. Okay. There we go. Well guys, Tommy really wanted to keep swimming with mommy, so I have Jacob and Nathan, and we're going to do a little looking around and maybe go get ourselves some cowboy boots. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah look at that place. That's huge. Yeah, I 
we're at a place called Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's massive. It claims to be the largest knife store in the world. From the size of it, I believe it. It looks like a small Cabela's dedicated just to knives. Should we go check it out, guys? Yeah. There you go, Nathan. You're doing a really good job, buddy. All right, buddy, come on. Wow, look at this place, buddy. Yeah, yeah, this is just machetes. Look at these. You got the spear up there, and they got the machetes. What? Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. You know what these are? That's a shinai. That's a kendo sword. Yeah, this is a practice sword. Yeah, look at the samurai swords. Those are ninja swords. Oh, look, they have an entire section just for nunchucks. These are throwing knives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice at Gladius. That's cool. Holy mackerel, this place has got even more stuff. Look at this. See, look at that. There's an elephant, and there's a cape buffalo, and a rhino. Look at it. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, listen, buddy, you got enough fishing rods. We don't need to buy you another fishing rod. Let's... These are cool. These are the type of pocket knife we're going to get you when you. When you were old enough to not stab your brother. Yeah, those are those are nice axes. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Holy mackerel. This place is huge. I said this was like a small Cabela's. This is like a large Cabela's. This place is enormous. It's like three stories of knives. Yeah, look, there's an alligator over there. Yeah, alligators. They've got all these like historic displays too. They don't just sell knives. This place is like a museum too. That's a bear with a banjo. Yeah, look at those. Those are cool knives. I completely underestimated this place. I spent about 40 minutes in there. I needed like four hours. There is a crazy amount of knives in there. Oh, there were some axes I really, really wanted. I don't need any more axes. I really don't. I, really, I wanted them though. Oh, all right. Man, if I wasn't in, I, I wish I had more time. There was so much stuff in there. All right, guys. I told the boys we could get them a pair of cowboy boots, so we're gonna go see uh, see what they got. All right. Nathan, Nathan, out of that puddle. Oh my goodness, I have no idea where to even begin. Look at this place. There, this is a ton of boots. What do you think? What do you think about these? Uh, you like those? All right, there we go. I think we got a pair. You like those boots? Yeah. Are you strutting around in those cowboy boots? Yeah. I think we should stick to the ones we picked out for you. All right, guys, we got buy one get two free. So we got boots for all the boys, and we got some cowboy hats too. It's past the boys' bedtime. We gotta get these little cowboys home. You like your cowboy boots? Yeah. All right, let's go home. Do I go? You ready? Excited to go show mom and Tommy? Yes. Oh my goodness! Tommy, come see. Hey guys, you like your boots? Yeah. Look at that. We look like cowboys. Well, it's our final night here at the cabin. It's been wonderful. But uh, it is late. It's like, what, 11.30 or something like that. And we are cleaning and packing and getting everything ready because we've got to leave early tomorrow. We got an eight hour drive to Mississippi. So uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. It's another beautiful day. And I am sad to be leaving this place. Went and cooked up a big mess of breakfast. And this is my view of the back porch. That's why they call them the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. I packed it. We are ready to go. Now it's Sunday, so I'm gonna go take the kids to church. And then we're gonna head out to Mississippi. Oh wow. Always gotta leave growing room in the back of your car on road trips because it always gets bigger. All right, cowboys, you ready? 
All right, let's ride, saddle up and ride out. Well, we had a good time at church. We flooded the bathroom and we lost our child. Uh, but we're really proud of Tommy because he remembered his phone number and, and people called us, but we didn't have our phones on. So, you know, whatevs, whatevs, great Sunday, but we're on the road. We're headed, headed to Mississippi now. Time to flee the state. Time to flee the state. Yeah, we have, we have, we're not our welcome. Yeah, but Tennessee's been a blast. Let's go check out Alabama briefly and cruise on to Mississippi. If you'd like to see more great Outdoor Boys videos, including all the videos from this southern road trip, check out the link in the description and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week and join us every Saturday morning for a new adventure from the Outdoor Boys. Thanks for watching.